Hey, 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 Closet Busters and Bold Move Makers. It is time once again for Life Uncloseted. So I want you to gather around because it is time once again to kick down those closet doors of your life. We're here to escape our BS, explore our fears, and elevate our self-expression. I'm your host, Rick Clemens. I'm the Bold Move expert and that coming out guy who's going to take you to the party, the pulpit, the wake, and back to the party of living your life uncloseted. So come on along with me and grab hold of yourself and get ready to step out, step up, and step into facing your fears, making your bold moves, and living life without apologies. Now let's get to the show. Hey, 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 Life Uncloseted family. We are back for another episode. It is National Coming Out Day, and we're doing a special series of podcasts to celebrate National Coming Out Day. I hope you guys are having a really great one. This day is special for... A lot of reasons for people who are considering coming out, for people who've come out, for people who might be in the midst of a coming out conversation today, it's all good. And celebrate who you are, bravo, yay, all that good stuff. Whether you're gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, gender fluid, all these things that fall under our lovely queer umbrella. So as we move through National Coming Out Day, I felt like it would be important to cover some topics that often come up in my coaching practice when I'm working with people coming out of the closet. Uh, Before we get to that conversation, though, I'd love to have you get two chapters from my book for free in order for you to get those chapters of Frankly, My Dear, I'm Gay. Uh, All you have to do is go to rickclemons.com, rick, C-L-E-M-O-N-S.com forward slash free chapters and free chapters is all one word. I know that's not a real word, but you know, those URL things, it's all one word, free chapters. And you can get the first two chapters from my book, Frankly, My Dear, I'm Gay, and see if you like it. And if then you do like it, hop over to Amazon, download it onto your iPad or whatever you do to read books or order it and get a copy of it. So let's dive in. We have covered so far, we have talked about acceptance, We have talked about religion, faith, and God. We have talked about sex. That was a fun one. Uh, We have also talked about, you know, having the big talk. So we've kind of covered some of the big stuff, but one of the areas we always get into is, okay, I'm coming out of the closet. Now, how do I do this dating and mating thing? How do I find someone? How do I fall in love? Guess what? You do it the same way you would have done it if you're straight. However... However, there's always a however, it seems. Dating someone of the same sex or being someone who has transitioned as a transgender individual, uh, it can actually be a little challenging because, well, when you're dating someone of the same sex, you're kind of coming from the same space. Men to men, there's masculinity and masculinity. Women to women, there's some feminine traits that woman to woman show up and it can be a little hard because, hey, very few of us got taught how to date and mate, even when we were, quote, trying to be straight. And no one has told us how to do this. No one in hell has told us how to do this as an LGBTQ person. And that's where I like to start this conversation because give yourself a break. Nobody has taught you how to do this. And even I, what I'm sharing with you today is trying to give you some inside tips, but I can only teach you so much. You're going to have to go with your gut instincts. You're going to have to trust yourself. You're going to have to go, okay, I am going to do this and I'm going to do it my way. But here's the thing. There's lots of avenues to learn. There's books out there on how to date. And I would encourage you reading some books about dating in general, because the more you know about dating, listening to some other podcasts that are very dating focused it all translates. Every bit of it translates. You can be listening to a dating podcast for straight guys and all you got to do is switch out the, the woman for a man. And a lot of the time, most of the information they're sharing, the advice they're giving will work everywhere. But trust, no one's taught us how to do this. So we kind of got to go pick up ourselves and move into it and learn to do it. Secondly, most people, most people who come out of the closet, you're going to become a little kid. What? Yes, you're going to become a kid in the candy store because especially if you didn't do this in your teenage years, if you waited till you were in your 20s or your mid 20s or your 30s, your 40s, your 50s, your 60s to come out of the closet, you never got this experience of dating someone from the same sex. 
and you're going to feel like a kid in the candy store. Now you may feel like a lost kid in the candy store too, but suddenly there's going to be lots of different types of people and lots of different kinds of experiences. And then as you learn to do it, it kind of back to the sex stuff, you're going to find some stuff you really like and then you're going to find some stuff you don't like. You're going to find some people you really like and some things that guys on guy stuff happens that works and girl on girl stuff that happens and works and doesn't work. And just realize you're going to get excited. You're going to fall in love really quickly. Sometimes you're going to fall in love. Not at all. In fact, one of my clients just recently texted me and said, yeah, I went on a lunch date. Mm, no connection. Didn't do anything for me. He said, I didn't even get to half mast. You know what that means, right? He didn't get the, even a half erection. So that's okay. But realize at times you're going to feel like a kid in the candy store because there's going to be so many things. And then on the flip side, there are going to be times that you feel really, really lonely. I embrace the loneliness. It was the hardest thing for me to do. And even when I met my husband, I was still trying to embrace what it was like to be lonely at times and to feel alone until I realized that being alone was one of the greatest fucking gifts in the world I could ever experience. I'm going to say that again. Being alone was one of the greatest fucking experiences I could ever experience. Because it taught me to be with myself. It taught me to avoid being needy and being codependent. It taught me to relish the peace and quiet of just having me with me. And even as, quote, heterosexual people trying to get through this, and even my heterosexual friends are like, yeah, I know what you say, Rick, because, you know, I was never able to really be with myself and I don't understand why my relationship is not working. It's because you haven't learned to be with yourself. And the sooner you can learn to be with yourself, the more successful you're going to be in this dating and mating world, regardless of sexuality, but especially as an LGBTQ person, because we're already set on the path of you're supposed to be alone. You are not normal, so you will be alone. In fact, I remember my family saying, you will never find love. Hmm. It's kind of funny. Been with my husband now for 18 years. So there is hope. I have lots of friends who've been with their partners longer than us, 20, 25, 30, 35 years. You can, but you have to move through the kid in the candy store phase, experience some loneliness, learn to be with yourself, and finally be clear and don't demand perfection. Now, yes, there's nothing wrong with wanting what you want. Oh, and I'm going to talk to the gay man right now, but perfection does not exist. It does not. Okay, a bubble ass looks great. A nice schlong, yes. Those beautiful pecs and abs and all that stuff. Mm, always beautiful. But then he's a nimrod. He's a jerk. Accept what you can accept. Be clear on what you want. And know your non-negotiables but really explore those non-negotiables and make sure that you're not asking for too much. So as you step out into the dating and mating world, those are my few little pieces of advice on National Coming Out Day. Some of those can be found in my book that we've already talked about. Again, if you want those free chapters, rickclemens.com forward slash free chapters. But always remember, no one ever taught us how to do this dating thing, especially not how to do the same sex dating thing. It's okay to feel like a kid in the candy store. It is also okay to embrace loneliness and learn how to be with yourself so that you don't become somebody who's codependent or needy. And be clear on what you want, but stay away from the P word. No, not the penis and not the pussy. Stay away from perfection. Because the more you step into this space, the more you will be able to love yourself and love someone else and date and mate on the other side of the closet door. So that's it. This is the end of part five. We got one more coming at you. Part six is all about showing up and owning your truth in your life. And I know that's part of where we started, but there's another piece of it that happens after you come out of the closet door. So stay tuned. We will have that episode for you here on the special edition of Life Uncloseted on National Coming Out Day as we explore a series of coming out without coming unglued conversations. Hey, 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 Life Uncloseted family. Another episode of Life Uncloseted has come to an end and it is time for all of us 
to sashay away and go face our fears, make those bold moves, and stand up to living our life without apology. But before you do, I've got a favor to ask of you. Would you hop over to iTunes or Spotify or Podbean or wherever it is that you're listening to this and just give us a little bit of love if you like what we're doing here at Life on Clock. Here's what it does. It helps other people find the show. It helps other people get to know what we're all about. And you just might help change life. In fact, if you really want to change a life, we'd love it if you just ask a friend to take a listen and see what they think. So that's it. Love you all deeply. I'm Rick Clemens, the host of Life Uncloseted. And never stop stepping out, stepping up, and stepping in to living your life uncloseted.